Lincoln Highway there. Here's a Dixon Arch. Ronald Reagan's Boyhood Home Visitor Parking. I'm at the corner of 9th and Hennepin. So I'm in Dixon, Illinois. It's September 8th, 2024. I'm at Ronald Reagan's Boyhood Home. Lived here in 1920. So his house is right over there. They do have a small parking lot here, maybe for 20 cars, so that's kind of nice. Here's some information. It's a Sunday, so I don't know if they actually have tours, but we'll see. They're obviously doing some construction here. Don't know what that is. Maybe more parking. I don't know what this building was. Zoom out there. All guests, please sign in at the visitor center. The Dixon area garden. Next to the building over there. Looks like they're doing actually a lot of work. Some work over there too. Back behind. Look at anything I'm sure they're gonna just keep making it better. Coming up on the visitor center here. Well they do have restrooms which I'm surprised. So we'll see what this has to offer. See the visitor center sign there. No pets. Ronald Reagan's boyhood home. Closed. Uh oh. That's okay. Huh. Oh, there's actually a squirrel up there. I see you up there. I'm not sure which home is his, if it's this white one, or if it's this one over here. Hopefully in the front it'll tell us. We can see what's out here. I know that there's a statue out here. Ronald Wilson Reagan. I never knew his middle name. Erected in 1988 as a tribute to President Reagan. Illinois is famous for its production of agriculture products, so it seems appropriate for him to admire the kernels of corn in his hand. And there's a statue of him. Pretty good job they did on the statue there. So here's the history of the home. The Reagan family, Jack and Nellie, and their two sons, Neil and Ronald, moved to Dixon into this house on December 6, 1920. So that would have been winter time. Boys attended school at Southside School, later known as South Central School, just four blocks away on Hepin Avenue. The family lived in this house for three years. The home has been designated as a historic landmark by the Dixon Historical Preservation Commission. So this looks like this was the house. I don't know if it's closed for renovations or if it's just closed. I actually have another sign down here. I guess we walk around here. Let's look at the whole house. That was the front porch over here on the that's where I came from. This is back uh, where I walked in before. I'll just do a full circle now that I'm doing it. Had a storm cellar there. Like I said, it might be for the res ah, it might be for the renovations that it's not open. Pretty nice block. Pretty good sized houses. 
Oh, so the house next to it's the actual visitor center. Let's go see if the visitor center is open. I have a feeling it's not. It's maintained though. You know it's fall in Illinois with all the mums. That's how blacked out the windows. And there's his boyhood home there, which is right next to it. Like I said, everything says that this is closed, so. Or not open for tours. I don't, again, don't know if it's for today or in general. Gotta watch the steps here. I'll take a tumble. Oh, here's the history. So in 1920, he was born in Tepico, Illinois, and moved to Dixon when he was nine years old. I guess that'd be 1929. See, that's what throws me off because I'm gonna have to look. I'll put in the, I'll put across the, uh, put across the screen here, how old, what year he was born and passed. It said 1920, but I thought when I looked online it said he moved here in 1920, which means he would have been born in 1911. Oh, there's an old football picture of him. Served as a lifeguard for seven years in 1926. Saved 77 lives. Graduated in 1928 from Dixon High School. Went to Eureka College to study economics and sociology. 1932, he graduated from Eureka College. I don't know if that's Eureka, Missouri. I'll have to look that up. Leaving Dixon to work at a radio station at Iowa. No, I guess it was in Iowa. After turning away from a job at the local Montgomery Ward Department store. Wards used to be really huge in this area. Dixon native Ronald Dutch Reagan is elected 40th president in 1980. 1984, he actually visited here for his 73rd birthday. And in 1990 was the last time he was here. This is right down here. Tours are this way. It's a massive house here. Yeah, it just takes me full circle, so. So I guess we could just see the outside of Reagan's house. There's actually people who like live right next door. So they converted the uh, garage to bathrooms. Too bad it's not open, but at least we got to see the building from the outside. Get a view from this side. Like I said, they have door guided tours, but it doesn't say when they're available. They might not just be available on Sundays. Let you guys read this information. I want to read everything. There's the house of his boyhood home, 40th president of the United States. So this is a really quick video. Like I said, couldn't go inside. Look at the house in the background there. So couldn't go in the side there, but at least got to see the outside of Reagan's boyhood home. I guess he was there for about five years, it looks like. So kind of interesting. Dixon's probably I don't know, 50 miles? No, nah, maybe more. Maybe like 75 miles west of Chicago. So I'll put a map in there, kind of place it in there, where it's at in relation to Chicago and the Iowa border. Well, again, quick, this was a quick video, but hopefully you liked it and do more videos like this of different historic buildings and such. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.